Hello, my name is Mr. Chipman. I am the AP Biology teacher at Murray High School in Murray, Kentucky. And I am currently walking through a few videos answering the AP Biology 2023 free response questions from the exam this year. And I have done videos on the first two questions. And so if you are interested in those, please take a look at those. Um, I'm making a playlist for all of these videos to be in. Also, if you like this video, just go ahead and click the little like button or click the subscribe button. Both of those things would help me out quite a bit. If you have questions about my answer for this um, question, I do not claim to be correct. Any No kinds of uh, solutions have been released for this. So I'd be welcome to hear your thoughts and your questions in the comments down below. But let's uh, look at question number three. Sand lances of the genus Emotides are a small fish that function as keystone organisms in several coastal ecosystems. These sand lances are prey fish that support organisms at higher trophic levels. So several vocab terms there. Uh, keystone organisms, big deal. Um, prey species, they're, you know, they're probably primary consumers at this point just because they support other things at higher trophic levels. Um, let's see, scientists perform experiments to examine how sand lice populations are likely to be affected by rising temperatures and CO2 levels associated with climate change. Sand lice or sand lance embryos typically develop and mature into adult fish at low temperatures, approximately 5 degrees Celsius, and stable low CO2 levels, and it gives us a number there. Over the course of two years, scientists measure the survival rate of sand lance embryos allowed to develop and mature in a lab at three different temperatures, 5, 7, and 10. And 5 was the one that they gave us, said that, that was the typical. And uh, level CO2 at 400, 1,021. And that is, 400 was the um, one that it gave us, that they normally do. And then let's see what the questions are. Describe the effect of Increased biodiversity on the resiliency of an ecosystem in a changing environment. Don't even need the prompt to answer this one. You could mention that um, increased biodiversity, um, basically anytime you have more species in an ecosystem, there is more chance for adaptability. You could talk about how because of the increased uh, genetic diversity in, an, in, a, in a species. You could talk about uh, species diversity adding to of uh, the amount of interactions that are in an ecosystem basically so that one species doesn't become kind of the the keystone but there can be several species that can act as that and so a bio uh, an ecosystem that has lots of species diversity is going to be much more resilient because it has more more pieces there's more interactions there's more availability of resources for the whole ecosystem part b justify the science selecting five degrees celsius and the lowest, um, at, as the lowest temperature and 400 micro atmospheres as the lowest CO2 level in their study. Well, these are both known according to the prompt that these are typical ranges of development for these sand lances. And so this is a, a known variable that is the rest of the experiment is being based off of and we know that to be a positive control. And so you could say that uh, the scientists were using these levels as a control variable, and this would be an example of a positive control. State the null hypothesis for this experiment. This is basically just the definition of a null hypothesis, which we know that to be the null would be that changes in temperature and atmospheric pressure would, or atmospheric CO2 would not change the development of sand lances. And then part D, <coughs> scientists claim that a reduction in the size of Emotides sand lances will affect the stability of the entire ecosystem, provide reasoning and support for the scientist's claim. Um, we are told that there are keystone species. If you wrote um, because there are keystone species, that's probably not going to be uh, a good enough answer just because it says support that. And so what does that mean? Well, you could just then define it. Um, they are a species upon which the entire ecosystem rests. And so because the upper trophic levels require them for their food, if they were to disappear, 
that source of food for the higher trophic levels would um, disappear, causing those higher trophic levels to disappear, which would also cause the the boom and possibly even future bust of lower trophic levels and um, it would just cause a disbalance in the ecosystem. The presence of the sand lance provides balance as they they provide that standard boom bust kind of economy in the ecosystem for their predators and so uh, that require that boom bust balance balances out the entire ecosystem and the um, energy resources and material resources available and so the if you take away the lances then that will disappear uh, that was a pretty easy one I thought I will be working on question four five and six over the course of this week hopefully you will watch those videos again if you're interested in seeing when those videos come out just click the subscribe button and you'll get a notification when it drops thank you for watching